Hello, I am Anna Diffin, and this is Star Ruler 2. In the last episode, we had just reached a level 5 planet on the homeworld. So that is going to be generating a nice amount of income, though it does need to enlarge a little bit more. But actually, this planet is doing quite well with income. Get most of that. Ooh, good grief. I wonder why it's getting so much. No matter. Regardless, the home planet has a lot more population which is going to be getting up and that will vastly improve the amount of income. As such, I think I may actually design some ships. New ships. Now actually, although I have a lot of income at the moment, the next budget is quite small, so I might leave that off for the moment. Still, I'm going to be colonizing a couple of new planets. And in fact, what I have noticed, I have a thousand energy, so I can now use this Genesis device to create a new tier 2 planet. So it will do so immediately. So I have quite a few tier 1 resources. I have another tier 2 there. Aluminium. That planet is annoying. Can I actually destroy that? Destroy those. I don't appear to be able to destroy the altars. Maybe they'll get destroyed over time. I hope they get destroyed over time, because I don't want them destroying all my resources on my planets. So, uh, what shall I do then? Gems is a nice resource. Call that pressure. Aluminium. Various foodstuffs. You look like a good planet. You've got three moons. So yeah, Z2. We're in the middle of nowhere though, so it's going to be a pain to export to it. Now, go for a more central planet, I think. If I wait a little while, I can form these planets into tier 2. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll wait off the Genesis device for the moment and create a new protoplanets. Well, I just need to pause for a second. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're colonizing new worlds. It's good. And let's just unpause and go, f go from here for a moment. Continue the war. Go capture that planet. Oh, must almost be defeated by now. My income is going up nicely. Which is good. Good amount of money at the moment. In fact, I will design a new ship. So, pause. No designs. I have been playing around with a couple of designs like the Corvette and the Frigate. The Frigate is actually... Not very useful having the missile launch at the front, it makes it quite vulnerable. The destroyer, a similar sort of thing. I don't know if these are actually particularly useful in this position. It makes it quite vulnerable. I also don't need them that fast, because if you compare it to the battleship, my ship, oh, it does have an acceleration of four. I thought it was only three. Ah, I'm human, aren't I? I have increased speed. That would be where, where I'm getting confused from. Yeah, because these are up to five. What I want to do is give change some of my actual planetary defence ships. Get some improved ones. Let's have a look at these support fleets. We have a lot of destroyers and frigates, which is all all well and good. But I just want something a little bit larger. Because these size one two ships are not very strong against the bigger fleets which we're coming up against. Our core remnant. Hmm. I can't actually see any enemy ships to have a look at their size. They have had some pretty big ships. Habitats. Just the parts of the Revenant fleet. No matter. No. Right. So create a new design. And this is going to be a fairly round ship so 
give it a couple of missile launchers. It's going to be just a standard support ship. And these all well done. Give me an all round ship, so give it lasers to take out normal normal frigates. Let's put some defensive plate on this. It's gonna be quite slow. But we'll give it three lasers. No, it's annoying me. It's not central. <laughs> I'm going to have to change that. And do that. Move the core there. So this ship is doing okay there. I think these weapons like quite weak. I'm gonna increase this up to a size ten ship. And three nice lasers there. Sixteen and eighteen. Why is it so much larger? Oh goodness me. I'm not gonna be pressing buttons. And now some rocket engines. Which reduce the size of that there. Light up there like that. It's just still got a fair bit of space. Hmm. Weapons, missile launcher. I'll make this smaller. I think I can. Let's bring all these modules in a bit. That's so this ship is now quite fast. Got some decent weapons there. So that. Now I'm just going to bring a few more crew, crew decks. So at the moment, this is quite weak and has one core. One there and there. Put the crew there, and if it's sideways hit, we'll destroy it. One there and there I think. Just miss launch it again. So, yeah, so hits from there will have to pass through armour. 
two from behind here. Not much armor, but it does give it a little bit of decentralized control. And these crew quarters will give additional repairs. So, so this is my planned defense ship. It's a reasonable, reasonable speed, but primarily it's got three lasers for taking out smalls and two missile launchers which have a nice amount of damage for taking out anything larger. So that's all good there. Let's go to go and build some of these. Just figuring out where to build them. Touch on my home planet. Let's build a hundred of them. No, it builds day six. No matter. No support, no defense. I can't afford any. Fair enough. With the war going. That's on his mind. Ooh. Rejected. Ooh. Surrender offer. Vessels. Um, subjugation. Permanent subjugation. We must become vassals of the parent empires. You know what? I decline that offer. I'm going to annihilate you completely. Diplomacy, decline treaty. Sorry. Negotiates. I need these plant defense. Got a few of them in. Just before. Budget ends. I can almost activate that at full power. Let's go jump over to here. Small dreadnought, it's kind of pointless. To that planet. Go up to that planet. Pause. I will activate you. I will colonize you. How is my country systems doing now? So requirements. Require a level two. Thankfully, I have a level two. I'll upgrade you. You'd be distinctly lacking water. All right, produces a lot of influence pressure. Useful. Resource there. Looks like I need a load of water. 
volcanic undeveloped, so that's going to be a bit of a pain for that. You, I'm actually going to build a water facility on you. Which makes life a lot easier. Any water which has not been colonised. Colonise this. And the thing is, if there's any plants which could be. Yep, so. Hydrogenator, build that in the oceanic biome. And then that will have additional water. Down to 6k income on the, that plant at the moment. Let's capture you. I've captured everything there. What do people think of me? The Sour Republic uh, do not like us. useful to know. No weak moment of strength. The Oko has a strong means average. A lot of planets. So Ezreal. There. Colonize you. Build some planetary defense. You do have labor, so you're actually going to produce producing ships. Brilliant. Doing, you were doing okay there. Let's go to the research tree, see if there's anything I can get. Look up to the hyperdense, so I don't know. More the proof subsystem is always very nice. Just pause, something's been going on in the background. Resistances go up, infrastructure. That'd be very nice. Study with a lot of power. Ballistic. Centralized construction is quite nice. Antimatrogenous are amazing. Though they are quite far down in the tech tree. Young cannon is there. Pretty handy. And what do we do in the next? 500, I think. Let's go reinforcement. Increase armor damage resistance. Aha! You have planets. Not on. And 
the instructions still. Where does that pop position? And the chassis. there. So you have a hydrogenator, you, that means you no longer need that water. So you can stop working on that there. So it should have a source of water around here somewhere. Hydrogenator on your surface, good. So we're going to upgrade a little bit there. You will now level one. So now these guys need another level one resource. So about water. Import the food. Might as well look, try and improve the FTL crystal place as well while I'm at it. Um, let's throw you in the pot. Additional food. Desert undeveloped. I think I would do quite nicely there. Diplomacy, and there's still surrender. No, no. Go capture those two planets. Hydrogenator, energy cash, cool. They're trying to annex each other's planets, that's completely fine, I don't mind. few planets remaining. Don't want to fly around. Oh, here comes the dread pirate again. Good, some more sources of water at the very least. What's the income like there? 1.8 million. Nice. That is good. That will do. I think I'll pause the game there and end the episode. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Star Ruler 2. I am Anna Diffin and I shall see you 